Hello, welcome to the fifth assumptions about regression diagnostics in STATA, and that is multicollinearity um, issue. Here we focus on the independent variables and we want to avoid redundancy. So if you have two variables that control for the same thing, why do we include both of them? And uh, we will see soon why we have to remove this redundancy problem. And um, so we should not have two uh, variables that measure the same thing. And for example, age and years of education, they measure the same thing and we should not have both of them. The same applies to GDP and GDP per capita because GDP per capita is just GDP, GDP divided by the, the number of um, citizens, okay? The consequences of violating this assumption is that we will uh, run into problems of uh, underestimated standard errors. So, and that will lead to we having uh, lower p values and say we have correct, um, correct, we have, we have significant results, but maybe we don't have when we do the right thing. And the other problem is that the impact of the two independent variables that are very much related are not well seen. You don't see that well when we group both of them. One is being uh, surprised by the other. So we have one of them probably having lower uh, coefficient value, while one of them is high, or both of them are even low. So how do we test for multicollinearity in, in STATA? Um, we have two ways. The first is to just regress uh, one on the other. So assuming x1 is one of the uh, independent variables and x2 is also one, we regress one on the other and observe the R square. If the R square is greater than 80%, uh, then we just conclude that we have autocorrelation problem. In other words, when we do a correlation matrix and we look at the correlation between the two and it's very high up to say 80%, then we can also conclude that we have autocorrelation problem when we include both of them in the same model. Uh, alternatively, if we subtract the R square from 100 um, and have value close to 80%, 20%, then we have a problem. We can also use the post-estimation test, that is the VIF, variance inflation factor. So first we run the OLS model, and then second we do the post-estimation test. So if the variance inflation factor value is greater than five, we have the same problem. Or if the tolerance value is less than 0 0.2, then we have multicollinearity uh, problem. However, if we are having uh, interaction models or we have polynomial uh, models, then we should expect a lower uh, tolerance value than 0 0.2. Okay, let's do an example by continuing to use the automobile data set and we will regress X on uh, two, X1 on X2. And here we have our X1 being uh, weight and uh, X2 being length. So the second approach is to use post estimation where we run the full model price. We want to know the price of a car, what, what is impacting it, MPG, foreign, where this is our original model we have been using. And then after that, we just type S start VIF and we will see what are the values, VIF value for each of the X variables. Let's get to Stata and do it right away. So I go to Stata, I have uh, my new file already open. Um, so I will load the data set. As I've been saying, this is already part of Stata. Just click Sys use and it will be loaded auto. If I open Stata, you will see that the data set is there with 72, 74 uh, observations. Now let's just do our normal regressing. Um, so here we want to regress weight on length. So this is the full model. We have these two here, and we want to see where these two, one can represent the other. 
So that's what we test. So I'll first regress. Yeah, we look at the R square. The R square is more than 80%. Okay, so we can conclude that we have multicoloniality problem where we have these two variables included. So therefore we can include just weight or only length in our model. Let's look, look at the other uh, approach. Here I run the full model. So including the dependent variable, which is price. All right. And then next I will, I will run the VIF. Here you can see again, weight is very having large values. Uh, we said that if um, the value is greater than five, we have a problem. Here the two of them have value greater than five. You see? And the turnaround value, which is here is less than two, also less than two, but these others are okay. All right, so this is how we test for multicoloniality problem in uh, polarity problem in Stata. And uh, I hope this helps you. So next we will consider linearity problem or functional form. What is it? 